Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello everyone, to this second live session for this course introduction to political theory and I am Mithilis Kumar Jha, the course instructor. During this live session, I will be happy to share, uh, discuss your thoughts or you know uh, questions that you may have about this um, course assignment or final exam. So you are welcome to um, share those um, dots or you can also share your feedback and experience about this course or course content. So you are welcome to share them. And those of you who are joining through YouTube, you can also write your question and I'll be happy to discuss that as well. I hope you find this um, uh, course enjoyable and uh, uh, hello, good afternoon. So you can share your uh, um, thoughts and ideas or any question or comments that you may have uh, during this live session and as I said, I'll be very happy to discuss them. So, you know, uh, to begin with, uh, I'll start with uh, some questions on the discussion forum uh, regarding the exam or, you know, uh, exam pattern. So, um, um, exam will be based on MCQ type question. So, uh, if you are submitting your regular um, assignment, uh, the nature of question will be similar in the final exam also. Um, and um, there would be three types of question in the final exam. One will be based on uh, uh, recall. That is, if you have uh, watched the video, you should be uh, able to easily recall and then identify the correct answer for such set of questions. So there would be one set of questions based on your ability to recall. Then there would be second set of questions which would be based on the assignment. So if you are submitting your assignment regularly, that means you are also um, preparing or you, you can also do well in the final exam because there would be some question directly taken from the uh, regular assignment. And the third set of questions would be almost half of the total question, which would be to assess your understanding and comprehension of a particular um, theme or concept that we have discussed in this course. So there would be these three set of questions and all the questions will be MCQ type. So you will be um, um, having four options and out of four, there would be only one which is correct. So you please um, select and identify the most appropriate one. All right, so this is one of the major concern um, which many learners have pushed on the discussion forum and I'm sure that your other queries are addressed and please use the discussion forum for your um, dots or questions to be clarified. Okay, now I'm waiting for questions or you know 
to listen to uh, the learners who have joined online to YouTube or you know to other platform. I'll be happy to discuss them. Otherwise, we will conclude this live session soon. If there are no questions. Hello, Amja. Good afternoon. And thanks for joining. I'm sure many of you are um, using the discussion forum for discussing any issue related to this course and also giving your weekly feedback, which is helpful for this course. All right, meanwhile, uh, I'll also address some questions regarding the assignment. So uh, some of you may come across, uh, you know, the problem of uh, uh, sometimes in some assignments there are incorrect answer which is presented as a um, correct answer. So um, there are very few such examples. However, it happens because Sometimes while encrypting the um, answer, uh, the team makes some error. So uh, uh, once we come across such error, we exclude that question or we give the same mark, um, allotted mark for that particular question to everyone. So that will not affect your overall um, assessment and overall grade. And also uh, many learners are asking about, you know, missing one or two assignment and so on, whether they should continue or not. Uh, so the uh, assessment to, uh, to, to earn a certificate is based on this assignment, regular assignment and final exam. And even if you miss one or two um, assignment, uh, the final assessment from assignment part will be based on your based eight assignments. So even if you have one missed one or two, I'll um, suggest that you should submit other assignments. Okay. Now we have a question from Hamja. Hamja asking what will be main topics to study? Topics. Okay, Actually, we have to do, we have to thoroughly summarize. All right, so Hamza, what I get is that you want to know um, what kind of materials you should uh, prepare uh, for the final exam. Uh, so there is two things. If you are thinking about uh, the final exam and scoring well in the final exam, and the three things, is uh, absolutely necessary. That is the uh, videos, weekly videos, PPT, and the transcript of that video. So if you have, uh, you know, prepared them well, you should do well in the final exam. And all the questions will be from these three sources, the video lecture, PPT, and the transcript that, that have been provided to you, and you have access to them. So for the purpose of exam, you should um, you should thoroughly study these three 
materials. Now, out of all the topics and themes that we have covered, I cannot really tell you which topic to prepare and which uh, to exclude. That's your decision. You can take a call. But the questions will be from all the topics that we have covered. And the um, uh, source of such questions will be these three things. That is uh, video lecture, PPT, and um, uh, the transcript. The other thing is about if you want to study well a particular themes or a particular concept, then you have to um, study uh, uh, some books uh, that have been in that particular uh, lecture, the last slide that is given to you. So for your purpose, for your understanding of a particular concepts beyond the final exam or to satisfy your own curiosity, you can certainly refer to uh, those texts. Otherwise, for regular assignment and also for the final exam, uh, these three course materials should be sufficient for you. I hope that answer your question on that. Alright, thank you. So it seems there are no more questions. So maybe I'll wait for one more minute. And if there is no question, then we can end this session. Okay, I think there are no more questions. So I'd like to end this live session. Uh, I'd like to thank all of you who joined during this live session. And we are going to have one more live session um, before the final exam next month. So you are also welcome to join me and share your thoughts and ideas um, in that live session. And meanwhile, you can also use discussion forum or weekly feedback channel to share your thought and give feedback about this course. Thank you. I'll see you again in the next live session. Thank you.